Tonight, the four private astronauts are ready to go, and so is their rocket, mostly. You're looking live at Launch Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center tonight. This is only the second time ever there will be a commercial launch to the International Space Station from our Space Coast. The private astronauts will fly on a brand new SpaceX booster inside a reused SpaceX capsule. And the SpaceX director said this evening there are no significant issues, but there is one insignificant issue. The rocket is healthy, to use SpaceX's word, but some bolts holding together a panel near the capsule on top are not perfectly healthy. SpaceX's director explained during their last pre-launch press conference the bolts are an item of interest. We discovered that one panel that has nine fasteners on it, that the fill of the thermal protection system, the, ther the thermal protection material that fills into those fasteners that, in, in, that on nine of them, it was just a little bit too little of the, of the thermal protection that goes over the fasteners. SpaceX said the fasteners, the bolts, appear to have enough protection material covering them for a safe flight to the space station. But just in case, SpaceX is filling them in to make sure they are fully and properly covered. Some people may have noticed that there's a, a large crane out on the uh, on the launch site, and we actually um, have somebody who's going to be lifted up and applying the fast the material um, to fill in those those fastener gaps, those little holes there. Um, and we'll get the vehicle back to exactly the state that it's supposed to be in and ready for launch. The four private astronauts are in good spirits. The commander, Peggy Whitson, the only veteran space flyer on the flight, led the newbies through a dress rehearsal yesterday. Axiom posted these pictures of the crew suiting up, riding out to the launch pad, and practicing getting into the SpaceX capsule. Piloting the Dragon capsule will be competitive skydiver and race car driver John Schaffner, who paid as much as $55 million for his seat, and two mission specialists from Saudi Arabia will be riding along. The first ever Saudi astronauts and the first to the space station. Now, as for those bolts that are being covered up with that additional thermal protection coating, SpaceX says this should be finished by tonight and should have no impact on tomorrow's launch at 537 in the afternoon. You can watch it right here on News 6 and, of course, on ClickOrlando.com. As always, our Brevard County reporter James Barvero will be out there covering the launch with us.